a lot of the times on this planet we call Earth, there are many different things that we get caught up. We get caught up in our own fantasy, our own minds. We get caught up in lies. We get caught up in society, society's norms. We get caught up in feeling like we need to impress people. We feel like we're doing everything but not focusing on our own lives and our relationship with God. A lot of the times we focus on the wrong things. We put our time and energy into things that aren't beneficial to us. And believe me, bro, I've been there. I put my time and energy into something like video games. Video games are fun. Video games are entertaining. Video games are enjoyable. But how really beneficial is it to your life? Is it growing your relationship with Christ? Is it growing you as a person? Video games can teach lessons. I'm not saying video games are, are all bad. But is it truly teaching you a lesson? Is it growing your faith? Is it growing your life? Is it growing you financially? Is it growing you spiritually? Is it growing you in your relationships? Is it growing your knowledge? Is it giving you wisdom? It can give you knowledge and wisdom, yes. Right? But are you focused on the right things? God needs you to focus. God needs you to make your life. Take your life and transform it. Do you know how you transform your life? Focus on what God needs you to do. Focus on what you need to do. Whether that's working a job, whether that's becoming a content creator and you need to post multiple times a day, whether that's becoming a engineer and you go into engineering school or you go into learning a skill or learning a trade or even something as simple as walking your dog, right? Take your dog out, man. Focus on getting your dog walked. Like, as crazy as that may sound, there's a lot of people out here who aren't focused on the right things. And God can't use you if you are focused on the wrong things. I remember I was talking to my homeboy and he's focused on getting his degree, right? He wants a degree in architecture. Y'all know what architecture is, buildings, building things. And you can think of like skyscrapers, whatever, all that different stuff, right? Construction, you can even think of construction kind of in that, that field too. But what was holding him, him back is his own intuition, his own mindset, his own thoughts. Our, th our own thoughts can hold us back from the life that we can have. Our own intrusive thoughts can hold us back from tapping into our full potential. Being a good steward isn't just, you know, focusing on that. It's, it's figuring out where the balance is. Balance your life. Being a good steward over your time management. What do you spend time? Are you wasting time talking to these individuals? Are you wasting time being in this environment? Are you wasting time at this job when you could be somewhere else being greater? Are you wasting time in your current situation? Yeah, you can say, okay, you, you feel like you're in a holding place and God may be preparing you for something greater. That's good too. That's 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 a valid statement. But at the same time, some people stay in places longer than they need to be. When God gave you the open door, all you need to do is just focus. If you want to get that degree, focus. If you want that new job, focus. If you want to get better sleep, focus. If you want a stronger relationship with God, focus. Focus on things that are righteous. Focus on things that are going to grow you, that are going to not hinder you, not going to take away from you, not going not to negatively affect you. Go after things that are going to boost you, boost your morale, boost your mindset, allow you to gain spiritual wisdom and spiritual maturity and things that are going to push you to that next level that you need. Because all we need is that that one push and not only that one push but that focus and a lot of us especially this generation focus on the wrong things 
And focusing on things that are of God and of Christ will only lead you to great success, regardless of how long it takes. Success is one of those things you can describe as timely, right? It can take time. Some Sometimes people, they expect quick, 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 like it should happen now. We call that instant gratification. But we know that all good things come from Christ. That's biblical. All good things take time. You may not become a millionaire, majority of us, you're not gonna become a millionaire in a day. You could, but majority of us, the majority of the population is, are not millionaires, right? You're, the success in the business you want, the clothing line you want, the many things that you aspire to do in this life, they take time, they take patience, they take focus. God needs you to focus. Why are you still focused on things you can't control? Why are you still focused on the past? You can't change the past, right? You heard the, the term murder she wrote? Or that's, you know, uh, mur yeah, murder she wrote or that she wrote? Because you can't go back and rewrite that. You can't go back and change that. Look, bro. You need to focus. Block out all the noise, the negativity. Focus on you and God. This is the season for it. Especially this summertime and coming around to the school year. I'm not saying you can't talk to people. I'm not saying block every everybody out. But start incorporating more positivity from people around you, your environment, your workplace, your business, and most importantly from yourself. This is your season to allow God to infiltrate. Allow him to, to guide your steps, to focus your heart on what matters, what truly matters to you. Ask yourself this question right now. What does God, what, you know what? What does God need from me? What does God need me to focus on? What should I truly be doing right now? Should I be focusing on this girl who doesn't like me anymore? Or this guy that doesn't like me anymore? Or should I be should I be focusing on my career and my relationship and my spiritual growth? You make time for the things that matter. What you truly care about, you will put time and energy into. But there are things that you put time and energy into that aren't relevant to your life. And when you continuously put effort and energy, you don't have the energy for what truly matters. That's why a lot of people tell me, and I had, I had trouble with this before, at first too. You get busy. You get busy with life. And you're like, oh man, like I, don't, I feel like I don't have time to read the Bible. I don't have time to talk to God about my problems. I don't have time to pray. I don't have time to go to worship service. I don't have time. Time. You make... They, People say this in relationships. You make time for what you care about. But you know how you make time for things? You make it a priority. You make it a focus. Then that focus becomes something you, pers you, you, you persist. Gently go after. Not only are you persistent, you are consistent. And then you are intentional. And then it's like second nature to you. Look, man, if you didn't learn anything from this video and you've made it to this point, always remember and ask yourself, what does God truly have for me? And where is my head at? Ask yourself this. Pause the video. As a matter of fact, after this video, ask yourself that question. After this video, truly sit there in silence, meditate, ask yourself, what should I be focusing on? And then, obviously, talk to God about it, most importantly. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Share this video with your friends, share this video with your family, share this video with your loved ones, whoever you feel like may need this video. Because I know there's somebody that may need this video. Always remember that God loves you. 
God won't ever forsake you. And God is love. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. And as always, be blessed.